Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. We back again. Uh, this, that's how you start a podcast. This right? camera, this camera, this camera. I just look at, I look at this thing and said, this camera. What are you what trying is, to say? Is that what? a glasses joke? My, may, it may I don't be, appreciate glasses jokes. It, it may be a cyborg joke, but that that's some, in some nerd shit. But anyway, it's your maternal unit's podcast of preference. Oh, yes. Motherfucker. That's what they call us. Uh, mm-hmm. Right. Your mama's favorite podcast. Exactly. Yeah, My mom hates podcast. this podcast, but everybody else's mom. <laughs> My mom doesn't even know this podcast exists. <laughs> <laughs> she said, oh, you look at radio thing. Yeah, like, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly yeah. what it is. Exactly. What channel? I'll let you know later. Exactly. <laughs> Give me a few years. <laughs> we tuned in at 345 in Tokyo. All right. <laughs> For real, but this is the Physics Study Group. Hashtag TP. Mm-hmm. SG. <laughs> SG. Pause for dramatics. We're brought to you by a little baby. Please. So, uh, you haven't done that in a while. It's been a shit. while. And for speaking real. of which, wait, wait, wait. First, first, first. Shout out to our last guest, Mr. Ledoux and Word. the Broken. Shout out. That was a Word. that was a that was a great episode. It bro. was. It was. It was a, it was a pretty episode. good episode. I actually did watch it. I checked out his page after two. This uh, said, definitely improved, impressed. I'm sorry. Yeah, and definitely follow him at Ledoux and the Broken. L E D O U X, the Broken. Mm-hmm. Definitely a dope artist. We heard some songs. Mm-hmm. True, true. Yeah, yeah that's definitely a good episode. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> because I'm A W E S O M E. What did he say? Auditorium. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Boozy. <laughs> <laughs> But word. before, yeah, before we go any further, word. who is? That? Oh wait, hold on. Uh, wait, uh, Something's different. What is different? Oh, what is this nigga doing? Word. Here? What's up, y'all? Welcome back, Boomai. Oh, hey, word. Word. We over acting regular like he hasn't been here for like word, word. It's been a, few a months. decade. Word. It's, <laughs> it's been, been it's been a while. Yeah, yeah. a little bit. I'm glad to be back. Glad to you. Know. Absolutely. I heard yeah. you was um out there Being on the your secret mission. You know what I'm saying? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even talk about. Hold on, that's so how quiet. secret it is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes, but we have Boomaye back, but we are Our still mission. missing another member. Word, yes. word, M- Mr. Samurai Black. What's up? What's up, Mr. Mr. Swiss Army, Army nigga? nigga. Uh, and out of respect, you. I ain't gonna sing a song. Word, but should we do it? Yeah, we shouldn't do it. He's not here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know. Word. I don't want to pay royalties for anything. Exactly. But uh-huh. who is here? Let's in- uh, let's introduce. Who is visible in front of the folks? Mm-hmm. But it is I, none other than the folks, them, Mister Jormatic, and that's Mister for your daddy and your mama. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> Respect across the board. Uh, anyway, mm. Mister Black Galifianakis, Loud Pack, Tropa, Wave Chappelle, Wavy McGrady, in here, mm. not uh, out there, but in there, <laughs> but in there. <laughs> right. well, like mm. clothes you wear in the water. Oh, ah. Oh. <laughs> uh. Oh, it's gonna be a long night, bitch. Word. <laughs> and out of here. And this is Flaka Zulu, uh, aka Nigga Demas, aka Sir Black uh, Stallion the Third, aka Pablo Escovich, uh, aka I feel like I'm missing one, but aka no more aka stop the fire. <laughs> I made up one the other day. What was it? It'll come to you later. Yeah. Mr. F- AK Mr. Forgetful. <laughs> <laughs> AK, AKA short short term memory. STM. <laughs> 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 uh, okay, and it's your boy. Back in the flesh, Mr. David Beaumaier, aka <laughs> Mr. Sirac Obama, oh, AKA. Oh, oh AKA. Hold on, hold on. That Chico Fantastical. Oh, Chico Fantastical. Fantastic. It's crazy. Oh, 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 AKA. Hold on. Hold on. I don't even got another one. I got you at the end of the episode. Wait, wait, I'm wait. a holder to that. Wait. I got you. I got you. So it's been a while. It's, it's been a minute. Well, minute. you have some of my favorites. Like Sirac Obama. Bro. Sirac Obama's awesome. Yeah, oh, yeah, my yeah, goodness. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't even drink Sirac like that. <laughs> That's not, awesome. not anymore. Yeah. 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 That, was, that was a certain period. I need a, <laughs> I, I need a name mixed with Hennessy or Jack Daniels. That'll oh, be oh Hennessy <laughs> Bless. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. I fucking Hennessey forgot Blast. about Hennessy Blast. <laughs> that wow. was another time period. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, wow. Mm. Wow. It's, it's good to be back, man. Yeah. It's great to be back. Oh, yeah. And I, and I see, uh, um, AKA you know. Don Juan Draper. Don Juan Draper. Wow. That's another <laughs> one. That's one of the first ones, like, yeah. when I first met you. Yeah. 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 But I see that I didn't get the memo that it was Todd Dollar Sign Day. 
Oh, you know, I'm rocking the Caesar. You know, I feel kind of out of place good, over bro. here. Oh, yeah. Hey. Time to grow the strength, bruv. Yeah. Grow the strength. You're a little behind, bro. Uh, you nah. missed a meeting. You know what I'm saying? This hair is like curly and wavy. You know it's gonna give look it, like white people's dreads. Just give it. Just <laughs> I don't want to do that. Just give it about five years. You know what I'm saying? You got. You'll get some. Funny enough, two years. My hair grows like weeds. Mm-hmm. It's crazy, bro. Mine too. Five, <laughs> bro. Like, cause like, cause like, I was when I first started mine, bro. I must have said, yeah, dog. After a year, my shit gonna be hanging. Like I grew a significant like before I started my I grew a significant uh-huh. fro dog. Like I had been <laughs> braiding my hair. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I remember that shit. When <laughs> I when I started them, I thought it was gonna hang. Uh-huh. Bro, she twisted them. It was like the little wicks, bro. <laughs> the candle sti- the Look, candle wicks. Or candle wicks, bro. <laughs> Oh my! Oh yeah, I re- I remember that stage. Um, Black Saturday the third. Though. I-, I remember him. He was what? humble. What? <laughs> humble. What the strength came in. Fuck all y'all. Oh yeah. <laughs> it got to a point. It was just like yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm that nigga. Sorry. I am. I'm sorry. And also, I feel like a big part of it is um, you know, your influence from the state you grew up in, mm. because. I don't know if you knew, but like dreads are kind of synonymous with Florida, with like oh, Miami, hey, South Florida. Yeah, don't even make that. Don't make that mistake. <laughs> what? Well, sorry, sorry. They're don't also make... synonymous with Jamaica as well. No, no, no. I would argue more so, but no, no, no. Of course, of course. That's like the obvious. Like you didn't even uh, mention that. Type where, of, you know what I'm saying? But I would say that I wasn't interested in growing my hair until I'm, uh, I was here in South Florida. Yeah, in Miami. Yeah, because it was like. <laughs> It wasn't associated with like, like Rastafarianism. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? It was more of like, to me, it was more like a, a like a, a roots thing. Mm-hmm. But it was just like it, it like it brought into my mind it was like, oh, more than you know, it, it you didn't have to be this type of person in to order have, to yeah. fi- to find fulfillment mm-hmm. in growing locks and like have meaning in, in that. And I was just like, oh. got you, word, word. And I've always like had a fascination, like even growing up, like. Back home, I was like, look at like, like look at them. And I was like, oh, that's pretty interesting. Yeah, it looks pretty mm-hmm. cool. Yeah, and and then down here, those niggas do the dookie dreads. Yeah, yeah. that that you know that look like palm trees. Uh-huh. Yeah, you know uh-huh. what I'm saying. Like he got dreads, but technically he only got eight of them. Yeah, because they all clumped together. Word, every day. Word. Yeah. Throw them all together and just let them. Yeah, word. exactly. Mm-hmm. Like exactly. They, all, they all different sizes. Like he exactly, got, he got one that like is just this complete side of the head. And then this side, he got five. Yeah. <laughs> you know and you go to two different girls and do it. Word, word. <laughs> One just full up this side. Oh, oh, oh wow. That's oh, serious. Word. Yeah, for real. But um, yeah, like, um, similar to, um, to the Jamaican thing. Remember the episode when I told you about um, when I used to tell people I'm Jamaican and they'll, mm. you know, have this stereotypical image mm. in their mind. It's the same when I tell them I'm from Miami. Like, where are you from? Oh, mm. I'm from Miami, born and raised. I look mm. at you like, where are your gold at? Where's your gold? Where's your dreads? <laughs> where, where's where? your wife beater with the stain on it? Like, you where? know what I'm saying? Where, where? your all black forces and the baggy jeans? Like, you don't look like. There's a lot of time of niggas down here, man. You don't look like a hood booger. See, what people don't realize <laughs> is I'm not that nigga. But I know that nigga. Yeah, I'm <laughs> best friends with a couple of them. I, I know a few like, of them. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, not everyone's like I, that. I, I, we share qualities with that with that nigga. Like, but what, appearance is one of them. Word. <laughs> but what's crazy? Grew up with them. Yeah. What's crazy is like the dude they think does the certain type of activity. Uh huh. Like they have like a face associated with that. Yeah. But then the the people who actually do that of Certain type of activity mm-hmm. don't look like what you think they look like. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. That's a big if, thing. If, like, if you, if, if, yeah. Don't be recognizable. Like you know what I'm saying? Like that dude with the dookie braids is a father of two, like upstanding citizen. Yeah, right. he's a garbage man. You know, he worked right. for the county and shit. He worked you know, work for he the just post office. For the dookies. You, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? So, like, yeah, that's yeah, it. Like, like, the dude, the, stay out of trouble. Where the dude with the clean cut, he always looks, he's always dressed smartly. You know yeah, what I'm saying he's a burner for you know what I'm saying. Yeah, like he, you know he's he, scamming, he might he's scamming niggas retirement accounts. Word, you or he might murder people for a living. It's the thing well, about Miami too. too. You gotta yeah. realize the thing about Miami. That's another big thing. I think right now, as far as like parents. the U.S., yeah, scamming is like. 
Like we lead to we lead the league. Ah, we lead we do lead the league in scamming. Yeah, yeah, we lead the league in scamming. That's what I'm saying. Like Florida's the number one scamming state. <laughs> yeah, and I didn't I didn't put two and two together. Remember, a lot of people come down here and retire. Mm-hmm. And you know what I'm saying? A lot of old people are not, you know, not saying, you know, you can take advantage of old people and you shouldn't. No, but yeah. Bible people. literally says do not screw over old people specifically. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I forgot the verse. I'll tell you later. Anyway. Yeah. But yeah. people come down and they bring their accounts and everything and mm. these little yeah. young niggas be cleaning them out, dog. Mm. Bro, people like, have there's no, no other reason uh JJ from down the street who did pass sixth grade should be at Ball Harbor <laughs> shopping <laughs> for Gucci. Yeah. Like, what do you think you got that? But bro, bro, it's not even JJ that's scamming these old people, bro. No, it's him yeah. and it's Scott. Because Word. Like, it's, it's, it's everyone. It's yeah, him. people do it differently. Word. You know what I'm saying? Like, some people do it with the corporate facade. Some niggas do it with the hood facade. Bro, the, co- the corporate facade. Like, the it's, corporate people, they're the... Well, we, we, that's a whole different discussion. Well, so, I mean, that, it's... That's, I mean, a, that, that's a whole different league... Uh, uh, or just taking poor folks money but. for real specifically old folks like oh yeah old folks down here they have this you know like they go there to retire but like mm-hmm. even florida has different old people did you see that news article about this nurse that was running a fight club with the old people there was one with kids in a daycare too yeah. but then there's also a retirement that. home one a fight club, a fight club. A, a, in an old people's fight, fight club, club at the nursing home or <laughs> nurse home or retirement center. What are the two? Either way, what is wrong with you? <laughs> are you that bored? <laughs> like that's a level of boredom. Like I'll never want to reach. Like imagine sitting there. Like what if I made this old motherfucker punch that old one? <laughs> but how? Like imagine. Like who can sit there and conjure up that thought? Like. But, but then, how would you watch it though? <laughs> like, would was, I watch it? it no, 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 no. It was I, already I recorded. No, no, you weren't there live. Someone put it on. Would you sit there and watch? No, I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't. couldn't. You know, I don't. I don't like to see. All right. No, no. <laughs> I've watched an old person fight though. Mm. Like some of these old niggas literally have that old strength that's built up mm. eighty years of living in the sixties, seventies, eighties, nineties, and two thousand. They've been through some shit. No, they, they know how to stick like bop. Yeah, they've, been, you know they've built saying? a home before, literally, mm, that, literally. Yeah, and they've beaten every child they've ever had. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like the old school niggas, mm. but I couldn't watch mm. that shit, man. <laughs> I couldn't watch that nah, shit, right. man. You see, you see your grandpa <laughs> punching another nigga, grand uncle, and his That's jaw the- fall off or something. <laughs> like they already don't have any teeth. What what else is next to knock out of their mouth? They but they don't have teeth. That's right. worse than bum fights, though. Like, real talk. Yeah, bro. Like, no, no, no. Bum fights are worse. <laughs> what? Bum fights are worse. Like, okay. Imagine. That's some real shit. Imagine, no, no, imagine. That's some real shit. It is some real shit. Who's harder to convince? Yes. How to do you fight? <laughs> an old person or a homeless person? It's so much easier to convince. I'll give you a dollar if you go punch that. You know what I'm saying? It's way more fucked up because you take it advantage. But see, that's old people fight is still bad, but uh, bum but fights is just bad. that's that's terrible. But see, <laughs> see, but that, that's 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 what's been that's I don't know on a given day. Oh you know, my god, that's that's what's been fucking me up the whole time, though. Like, how do you incentivize like? Like some old people in an old folks' home. It had to be an old folks' home <laughs> in like a hood or something. Like, like you know, you have those hoods where nothing like, is good there. Like even the retirement home is like, there. Like it had to be one of those or something. Like if you uh, win the fight, you get an extra jello. Or something. <laughs> I give you extra Xanax. You go, you go trip that guy. <laughs> like, no, that's some savage shit. But like I said, only in Florida, dog. I'm surprised there wasn't an alligator involved in some sort. <laughs> Bro, Bro, have an alligator. <laughs> I don't even blame people for having that, like Florida, because uh, it's true. Yeah, like when you've seen it, Florida man is not that crazy. No, yeah, you no, know no. what I'm saying. I've I've seen some shit as a child that you know would because how the world works will repeat themselves in news articles. Uh-huh. Like, wait, was that the same incident I saw? Did this happen <laughs> again? You know what I'm saying. So yeah. that shit doesn't surprise me. For, yeah. You told me one earlier. I didn't know that one. What uh, the, the Wendy's one? Oh yeah. Yeah. 
through an yeah, alligator. Yeah, through, through a Wendy's, Wendy's drive through window. Yeah. What? He pulled up on a Wendy's with a baby alligator and threw that nigga through the drive through window. Here's the question. Y'all can look though. it up. I'm, I'm not even. Are you said that shit. Nah, it, it was, that, that shit was not far from here. <laughs> <laughs> It's not. It was not far from where we're recording this podcast at the moment. Because the thing, because the thing is, I've been, I be shitting on the, the panhandle. I call it like Florida. Oh, you mean you mean South Georgia? All right. You so know what okay, but, you know before, what the, before the show, you guys Florida, said what a Florida's penis. You know what I'm saying? Like they, <laughs> they have the wildest shit. That's but, the barrel of the gun, bro. Yeah, you see yeah, the shape of it. Weird. <laughs> y'all, y'all said what a 90-10 split. Like all the ninety percent of the crazy shit happens up there. Well, yeah, I would say yeah. above like the 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 lake, Okeechobee, but above the lake. Yeah, like, and then and then the Central Florida thing. thought they had in some time. <laughs> yeah, on some Disney World shit. <laughs> yeah, like I saw one. I'm gonna cut you off. I saw one in Orlando. I think someone got bit by a rat at Disney World. <laughs> <laughs> And of course they make the Mickey jokes. Like, yeah. oh, Mickey, I just saw the people. <laughs> First but like of, even even Central uh, Florida throws it in, but first of all, Mickey's a mouse, though, motherfucker. Now, nah, I would say 75 25. We got our own share, bro. Slaka, uh, uh, the good face eating was down here. That happened, oh, man. That was on South yes. Beach, bro. That shit was down here. Oh, yes. Um, I forgot about the face eater. What <laughs> else? Uh, oh, damn. What up? <clears throat> <clears throat> several, several things on South Beach. What's your, what's uh, Anna Nicole's dude that happened in Miami? I mean, she, not she in died Hollywood. In Florida. Yeah, she died in the Hard Rock Hotel. At the Hard Rock Hotel. Oh shoot, that's yeah. another one. And, and a lot of celebrities have died. Um, Versace got killed on his front porch here. Mm-hmm. Right oh there. yeah, yeah, right down those. Uh, I ocean. guess it's a yeah. crazy place. Like, but I, but what make like what makes it like? Is it the weather? Is it? The All right, so here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing. And you touched on it earlier. My so the weather definitely has a huge part in it. But yeah. I like just what it was built on. Like mm-hmm. Miami's always built on scamming. It's always built on drugs. cocaine. It's always specifically been, cocaine. Dr- yeah, <laughs> specifically cocaine, but drugs. And if when you think about scamming, we people scam anything you could possibly think of in South Florida. Literally. Whether right. it's pills, whether it's like whether it's insurance, whether it's Cards, whatever you can think of, credit cards, it's mm. it's rampant down here, right? I, I saw a Foot Locker that mm. said, oh, it got robbed recently. I'm like, mm. oh, damn, that's messed up. You don't drive less than a quarter mile down the street. There's a nigga with a table out selling brand new sneakers. <laughs> less than a mile away from the Foot Locker. That, I'm not saying he did it, but goddamn. <laughs> what do you expect? <laughs> And I wasn't even like, oh, that's fucked up how you wrong. I'm like, you're stupid. Why are you so close? Go away. Like, what is, go further, nigga. But then you get that <laughs> mixed with, it's one of the biggest tourist destinations in the world, bro. Absolutely. Word. And we're about to have one of the biggest malls, right. or the biggest mall in America, which I think is a terrible idea. Yeah, no, no, no. We no, already no. have one we're of the biggest malls. If you go to Aventura, the juxtaposition is, is It's is crazy. Beautiful. I think Aventura like, is four. Like, or it's in the top four as far as size. Mm. And even Sawgrass is Sawgr- in the top Sawgrass 10. Sawgrass is huge. Sawgrass yeah. is bigger now, Aventura. No, no, Aventura is bigger now. Seriously? Yep, I couldn't even believe it. But I, I think bigger than um, Sawgrass? Maybe? I think Sawgrass is I've, bigger in oh, a certain I've, aspect. Hold on. I've worked in three different places in Sawgrass, and I still haven't walked the whole mall. You're saying Aventura is bigger? If, if I'm, um, who can get fact check? But last stories, time I checked, bro. Like you know when you when you hire you Google well well when you I, well oh when you do, when you do factor in the two story but then no nah no no okay what I think what I think uh, sawgrass is bigger um bigger than Avatar is this way yeah Avatar is bigger this way and like Avatar is big up and as long this way exactly I, there's okay. a term for it like square footage and all that but yeah. sawgrass oh, doesn't because have it, other floors it's oh like well, all yeah on the first floor okay yeah yeah, yeah okay so that's how sawgrass is bigger but like total space and Building mass and whatever, yeah. Avatar is bigger ah. because it has the floors and then it's wide. True, it takes up blocks of Avatar. It's like majority of the city. Yeah, it's huge, bro. You know what I'm saying? And then ah. they're gonna build this big ass mall in Miami where we're already below sea level. I don't want to be a foot lock and my Jordans get wet, bro. But you That's, know that'd be at least no, problem. But, but you know, but, but you know what's fucked up? Yeah, they're gonna turn around and say we created. How many other thousands of jobs? Oh yeah, those fly by night jobs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but then it's like those Granted, thousands, those thousands of jobs. Yeah. Are taken up by like thirty five people, bro. Like <laughs> niggas, like niggas got three, four, five, six jobs just to be next to each other, bro. Like, oh, I gotta be work. 
See y'all later. Yeah. <laughs> and then just go right next door. Like. Nigga, niggas would get off shift at, at Foot Locker, change shirts, and, and, and clocking at Champs, nigga. Like, yeah, like no loyalty. Y'all yeah. paying a check? Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Remember what Chappelle said? He said, I did a commercial for Coke and Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever got that bag for me, bro? Bro, I remember I, I, I worked at Aventura Mall at um at a clothing store. I don't really want to say the name. And I had this, I was working with this old Spanish lady. She was like, "Oh, you yeah, have two jobs." I was like, "Oh, where you working tomorrow?" She was like, "Oh, work at so and so." I'm like, "Where's that?" And she was like, "Pointing <laughs> next door." I'm like, like this is normal. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, now do you feel weird about? I don't know, man. Uh, like your manager at your other job see you at your other for job. For real, uh, like, I saw you cutting up. Don't bring that shit up here. <laughs> we are not that place. Word. Oh my. That's another thing about Miami, the flashiness. Mm. This is the capital of um, fake it till you make it. Oh, yeah. bro. Yeah. Throw that in the mix yeah. too. The, yeah, the capital. Bro. Throw that in the mix yeah. too, bro. Oh, yeah. People, it's, a, it's, 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 it's flexing just to a, yeah. a whole other level. What a flexing. That, Florida would, facade. Would, you, would yeah. you say as much or on the same level or more than LA? I well, I say I say more than LA uh-huh. because the um the income and everything is different in LA. If I'm not mistaken, it's obviously higher there because of Hollywood and everything. So yeah. but the cost if you of, flexing, but the cost of living is even higher there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The cost of living, like if you flexing, it's because you flexing. Mm. It's hard to fake it there. Mm. Like th- that's what I'm trying. I feel like it's harder to fake in LA than know, it is in my. I feel like it's way easier to fake over here because yeah, it's just so rampant, dog. Mm. All you need to do mm. is say you you live or work by the beach, take a couple pictures by the beach in a nightclub. It just has that for some. But at, at, it, like in LA, I just feel like it's different. Like just people know, like nah, you broke it. We know mm. you can't you can't trick us. Mm. I feel like Miami is just easier to trick people. I don't know. Well, in that case, but I I, de- I definitely feel like LA is. Slightly more superficial mm-hmm. than than, my, than Miami. Okay, okay. Granted, I never even <laughs> been there. <laughs> slightly. I, but, I, I've but been it's there. It's all the same thing, though. Like, it's all the same thing. People but, judge uh, Miami off what they see. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they call everything South Beach. Remember LeBron came out, I'm taking my talent to South Beach. Like, oh, they got a team? Right. <laughs> South Beach Warriors or something? Like, who's, yeah. who's, who's, who's in South Beach? You you are a Biscayne, 100, way of, 100 feet away from the bums. Um, Don't lie to these people. Right. There's no beach where that arena uh, is. And you right. live in the Gables. Like, and you live in the fucking Gables. Or oh, Southwest Branches. They love living in, celebrities love living in Southwest yeah. Branches. Mm-hmm. Bro, have you driven through there, bro? Oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. It's, it's beautiful. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah. I, I don't blame them for living there. Right. <laughs> Niggas would just would just drive through there just for motivation. Just as, like, <laughs> for real, like but, that's gonna be me. So. You understand? Absolutely. Like half the traffic is just niggas just like driving through there. Just looking, like, at, <laughs> looking at the houses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is what I was telling you about. Right. And p- probably one of the greatest things about down here is the, the you know the melting pot aspect. Mm. The only other place in more Caribbeans is the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> and right. I would say New York and Canada, obviously. You know right. the obvious yeah. ones, but. Like down here, like I don't know if you heard of it. I'm sure you have. There's a little place called Hialeah. Huh? They're like a rogue city, dog. Bro. They got Spanish billboards. You gotta speak Spanish when you go there. Don't fuck around. Yeah. They will kick you out of your own city if you don't speak the language that's not native. Bro. Like don't get shit. Like there, there are signs and windows that say we speak English. It, yeah, that's crazy. Like, I'm that's like, all you need to know. What I'm do you checking mean? my phone. Like, where am I? Did I? Bro. Are you legit stepping to a foreign country if you step in? Would you go to Hialeah? Hialeah is a different. A Street. It's Spanish. It's Spanish Chinatown. Bro, it's 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 a different level, bro. Yeah, it's a different level. I've worked like you gotta know the curse words. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. At so least in case you hear it, you know, Konya right. don't mean nothing nice. Uh-uh. <laughs> right. Just know if if you're in Hialeah. Your GPS is leading you the wrong way. Just know that. <laughs> Just know that. And Your GPS a, doesn't know where the fuck it's going. And there's a it's, 50% chance you're going to get into the car accident. Bro, I, it's, I it won't be bad, but it's going to happen. The <laughs> GPS going to have you make a left turn where a left turn don't exist no For more. For real. Uh, and you're going to yeah. drive into somebody in your living room or some shit. Right. You got all these little abuelitas crossing the street <laughs> randomly. Yo, nobody walks more than older Caribbean women. Oh, yeah. Gra- Korean grandmothers, grandmas, they will walk to Mars if they could. 
Word. And you try to give no baby, me good, me good. Yeah. Across the street, like, they feel like it. Yeah. <laughs> they feel yeah. Nobody's gonna hit them. That's Word. I think that's what it is. Yeah. Word. They, they just, like grandma, like nobody go fuck. Word. Me. They just like let me walk. You know what I'm saying? They gonna tell you that's when they get their best thinking done. Exactly. exactly. You went to ATL with us. Uh, which time? First time for the concert. Yes. Remember, homegirl, so this 60, 70 year old lady just straight up cut us and lied. Straight up, just cut oh us. yeah, I remember dead in the that. Eye, just straight up cut us in line because she knew we wasn't gonna do shit. And did we say anything? <laughs> fuck, I'm, fuck, I'm did we do grandma. anything? <laughs> fuck, I'm gonna say to grandma like real. So talk. it's like you play that game to where it's like, do you stand up for yourself and be that guy? Personally, but, I can't do it. Like, I old people to. will cut me off in traffic, mm-hmm. or they'll be going slow. And right before, like right when I'm pulling off, I'm about to cuss them. I'm like, oh, they're old. Don't worry about it. Mm-hmm. I can't do it. Yeah. Like you could cut me in line, yeah. and I help you buy whatever you're about to buy after you cut me. You know what I'm saying? I don't. Uh, know. I just I can't be mean to. to an old person. You, uh, you know what it was though. Are you gonna be that type of old person? <laughs> oh no no, I probably nah, would. I would hope See that's not. that's the thing though. <laughs> I got I. I wanted to say something, but you look at it and she looks just like your grandma. You know what exactly. I mean? There's something there's something exactly. about it that reminds her reminds you just of your grandmother. Like, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like I can't do it, man. Yeah. I've seen people do it like you're you're gonna go to the hottest part of hell. Mm. Whatever part that is, that's you gonna do it though. <laughs> No, and, but, and if you're not cutting in line, you're shoplifting. You're doing some crazy yeah, you, shit. Yeah, over. for real, uh, for real. Um, and, and if then, they catch you, just be like, oh, I'm sorry. Like I you know, remember. Oh, we did forget we put it on this up. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, that's their favorite. Wow. <laughs> Oh, Bro. Snap. oh my goodness! I can't wait. The moment I turn, what's <laughs> was the moment I turn like seventy dollars? No, when I when I get 80. into that bent old person yeah. age, where you know, but that's bent different. Forever, though. Like yeah. if you white, I am like at forty five. <laughs> yeah, but, for real, it might happen at ninety five for us. You're back finally. Like all right, ninety five years, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> Put me through enough. <laughs> you know, white people age like milk, bro. bro Especially I was scroll- if they toxic. Bro, I was going through my timeline, dog, and I was just like, damn, who is old ass crack on my my shit? <laughs> and I clicked on it, it's like a nigga I went to high school with. I'm like, God damn, bro. You you look fucking terrible. What the fuck? Yo, I, I I really feel like I really feel like like God made me. Like you're not even say the Come Lord giveth, the Lord taketh. Right? <laughs> like, on. yeah, you got the riches and everything, but you're about the age. You're gonna start balding at 16. Oh man, you might be a cuckold. You know what I'm saying? This is your punishment for being. I feel like that's what it is. White punishment: balding early, aging early. And the possibility of being a cuckold. Exactly. <laughs> That's your, that's some of your punishment for slavery and civil rights and all that shit. Oh, Bro, wow. that's 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 generational karma, nigga. For real, no, karma never fucking forgets. You know what I'm saying? It will haunt your family. Are oh, you want to enslave people? You know what I'm saying? Bald at thirteen. Word. That's why all of us got big dicks. You breed it so. For you real. know what I'm saying? You <laughs> like, oh, you're a Nazi? Um, <laughs> Micro penis. <laughs> that's a half for y'all. <laughs> oh my goodness, man! But oh. one last thing, <laughs> just one last. Thing. No, no, no. To like end the Florida thing, a whole old person, you know, hitting on whatever. Mm-hmm. Because I know how fucked up this state is. Mm-hmm. It's way more likely for it to happen here than anywhere else. Wait, wait. somebody to like an old people fight club? No, no, no. Not only that, somebody, <laughs> an old person, cut you in line for you to say something. Oh yeah, I've yeah. seen it happen. Yeah. Like. Oh yeah. When niggas say they don't like disrespect, it don't matter who it's coming from. I've seen niggas cuss out cops and mm. obviously get arrested after. But like just cuss them out like fuck you gonna do. You know what I'm saying? You disrespect me, this is what you get. Mm. And old people weren't out there weren't off that list either. I've seen it. Mm. Oh, yeah. Just screaming at OP. I'm like, dog, come on, don't scream at it. Yeah, yeah. Don't do that. Right. <laughs> but you know how niggas are. Yeah. But then, and that's people in general, not just black. But people. true, but a lot of old folks don't don't, don't give a fuck, and, and that's that's because they're wise enough to not give a fuck too. That too, because like they don't wisdom, have much energy left. Wis- yeah, w- no. <laughs> don't put it towards that. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, wisdom, certain wisdom, though, like they can say some shit like, 
You don't mean that. Like, like they, <laughs> they either let some shit go. We, like, our, we're still holding on to some pride shit. For real. They're like, fuck it. You know? <laughs> no, because some of them really think, you know, my days are numbered. Right. You know, I know that sounds but morbid, then, but they understand that, you know, well, any they, day it could be the day. But Especially then, when you reach a certain age and stuff. But then, God damn it, what, I want this. But what, it, yeah. <laughs> but, but what it is, they understand better. Yeah, that their yeah, days are numbered. Yeah, but all of our friends, days are numbered. Yeah, 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 absolutely. You know what I'm absolutely. saying? Yeah, the more breast of it. Exactly. Yeah, they've so, seen it happen more. Word. Okay. Yeah, like a lot of old people. Like, <laughs> there's this, there's this picture where of this uh dinosaur. It's a book. It's like all my friends are dead. Mm-hmm. I guess he was the last surviving dinosaur. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see a that. lot of old people are like that. A lot yeah. of people in life are dead. They're mm-hmm. alone. Mm-hmm. Like I said, it sounds morbid. Yeah, but like you have to like put that stuff in consideration. Longevity has its a, is a is a is a like has its downfall. I guess exactly, exactly. Yeah. Damn, damn. What? How the fuck did we get here? I don't know. Man. <laughs> That was another TVHD. Wild ass. Wild ass tangent. <laughs> like, I was going to say a damper ass tangent. Wild ass. Wild ass. My bad. My bad. <laughs> but it might like you're, you're at that age where, like, like if you die now, niggas are like, damn, how? Like, you, like you're yeah. at a certain age, you die, like, niggas are just like, like oh, it makes sense. I'm, I'm glad he's not suffering. Where? It makes sense. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, no, okay. You I, could I, be. I you know what I'm saying? Like you, you die. It's like, oh, it's gonna for all of us. you know what I'm for saying? Real. You might have been hit by a bus, but like, had you been 92 people, oh, it makes sense. I mean, you know, Boomer, you right? It's coming for all of us, uh-huh. all right? But that's there's only crazy. one thing that can't save you, though, and that's Cut. Jesus. Amen. I thought you. Was- <laughs> 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 Like, where you going? No, you like I was going with it. Like, just follow along. I'll never lead you astray. Just thought, as Jesus would it. Word. I thought I thought you I thought you were gonna say Kanye, but I'm glad you didn't. Oh no, God. Yeah. Man. Yeah. God man. <laughs> like, that's a transition you wanna make. Word. <laughs> word. But speaking of um Kanye and his new um, found interest. Found interest yeah. in Jesus. We'll call it that. You know, like, <laughs> we'll call it that. See, you already started off that you know interest. Saying? I wouldn't say, but anyway, continue. Sorry. But you know, um, he he came out with a new gospel album, right? Jesus is King. Uh-huh. Jesus is King. Mm-hmm. And um, how do y'all feel about it? All right. So I've listened to it. I've listened to it probably twice. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's How many tracks on it? It's like twelve tracks, but there okay. are a lot of them are really short. Okay. It's like it had like thirty five minutes or something like that. It's a really short album. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Um, so I probably listened to it twice. It sounds amazing, as you would expect from Kanye West. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I feel it. I'm not gonna. I I don't not like it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I feel it. This is where he is, and that's what he's given us. So I'm not gonna discredit it. Um. <clears throat> I don't know. Like, it's more of a stream of thought is where, you know what right. I mean? Mm-hmm. I view it just like I view Pablo. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just <laughs> him giving us, like, mm-hmm. same thing, a rush for time, him giving us exactly yeah. what's going on right here, right now in my mind. But it's going to sound amazing. I'm going to take forever to formulate, and then but, I'm going to do it in the 25th hour mm-hmm. and give it to you. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, as far as where he is with... Uh, but being like, a newborn Christian, a born again Christian, like is he, is, you know, you think he's for real? You know, yeah, like is he, you know, am I gonna put it on? Is he gonna bring me in the spirit so I can read my word? Is he gonna, you know, what I mean, like how? There's how, some gems that's on there. That's a legit there. question. You know what I'm saying? That's like, what gospel music is supposed to it's do. Supposed that's to a legit do. Question. Yeah. And but then like how, like how? Because the, the <clears throat> my 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 thing is, and it's not to, I'm gonna sound, I'm gonna sound judgy as hell. I, I I smell it. Okay? Yeah, right? it's I'm a, brewing. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm because. Have you listened to it? I I haven't. I was I was supposed to. So, because, yeah. but the thing is, he's made gospel esque music before, uh-huh. which has which is good. But then, you kind of I feel like I don't know. Is it? It feels like a, a, a like a. I don't want to. I don't want to say gimmick, but it, it just feels like a, a wave. He's just trying to ride, or it just feels like a, a not a not that not even that he's doing it in, intentionally. Mm-hmm. But he's the type of person that something sparks with him, 
and then he'll just ride that to the extreme, yeah. and, the, and then he eventually burns out. That's yeah. exactly what. That's exactly is. what it is. Mm. But I got my. However, <laughs> however, I, we talk about Jesus. I'm about to use the phrase "devil's advocate." Anyway, um, you'll be the Jesus advocate. The Jesus advocate. <laughs> the thing is, it's viewed differently depending on you know something simple, your religion. Mm. If you're a Christian, it doesn't matter what he's doing, as long as he's trying to seek truth. And, the, and you know, um, you know, you both on the same train of thought. You understand who Jesus is and everything. You should be happy for him. Mm. Your initial thought, your initial feeling should be like, "I'm glad you found the light." Mm-hmm. Mm. Then after you can put all your, ju- you shouldn't judge anyway. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Unless you're judging them, because the, like a big misconception is, uh, the Bible says not to judge people. No, the Bible does say judge people, but you have to do it in a certain way. Mm. It's not like, oh, look what she's wearing. It's Mm-hmm. Judging them on, you know, their merit and everything. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and I feel like like a lot of these, I wouldn't say, you know, Christianity period, not not even New Age, either back then or now. A lot of a lot of these Christians are like, they treat it like an exclusive club. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, um, you want to go to church now? Like, yes, if they say that, bring them in. That's mm-hmm. that's yeah. the whole that's the whole point of what Jesus did. Yeah. Jesus literally hang with the lepers, the hookers. The hookers, um, prostitutes. <laughs> the Bible didn't say hookers. Word. Bible didn't say hookers. And back then, being a tax collector was up there with being those type of people. Yeah. I forgot the reason, and it was explained to me. Oh, because most of them were dirty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. That's a part of it. Yeah. But um, yeah, he welcomed everyone. That was that was the whole. That's the whole point of Christianity. Mm-hmm. Like, but like like a lot of people will say, you know, oh, people like you know they're faking it, blah blah. But they're. That little spark of interest is where you're supposed to plant your seed. Because sometimes you don't get that chance. But the people is, don't want to hear about it. But, his, but he's here and he's wide open. But Bring the, him in and you but, know what I'm saying? But here's the thing. It's not like a spark of interest. It's an sorry, album. Sorry, 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 sorry. That, that is kind of um, undermining it. I didn't yeah. even say spark of interest. No, no, no. But but then it's not, it, it's not, a, it's not a case of... Like a just extreme lifestyle change. Mm-hmm. It's like that's how he put it though. He said he was <clears throat> radically saved. That's how. That's the exact words he put it. I was. I think I told you earlier. Yeah. I was watching a video and um he reached out to a pastor, mm-hmm. and a, he said that's what Kanye told. You. He said he's radically saved. Mm-hmm. Like just that word radically, kind of like it. Maybe he saw some wild stuff or something. He's like you know what? I'm following Jesus right now. Right. I'm just jumping in. But the thing is, the fact that he just wanted to jump in like that is still good. Because if somebody just jumps in the water and don't to swim, are you going to let him drown? But then, okay, but then you jump in, but then you make an album. Because he's a musician. Yeah, that's what he but, does. But then... That's what he does. He, he even said himself, he said, you know, he feel like... He said every musician started in the church. You know what I'm saying? Like, end of the day, he's still a musician. And this is... Nobody questioned Snoop Dogg when he did it. Snoop Dogg literally a made a gospel people, album. A lot of people question Snoop Dogg. Not like they're questioning did Kanye. Not like they're questioning <clears> Kanye. <throat> and that's 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 really something you can't really control because Kanye's Kanye. Mm. If Kanye said, I'm gonna be a Mormon, mm. niggas gonna start buying those coats and cutting their heads bald with the but, shit. You know what I'm saying? But it's he would go it's all him. the way. <laughs> he would, he definitely he would. He would, he would. and now that I'm would. saying that as nigga, a Christian. That nigga would knock on your door wearing an all white button up. Absolutely. <laughs> and he'll be like, and he, his attitude right now is like, what do I do next? Mm. I'll have to go get baptized. All right, bet. Let's go get back. That's what I feel like it is. If he's not, mm. then he better understand. The ramifications, but bro, I like, just hope that's not the case. I don't know. I man. just hope that's not the. If he's it faking, just seem, it just seems. I, I don't. I have to forgive him. It just, it, <laughs> it just. It just seems so weird to me, bro. Why though? Because, just all right. It's mainly his track record that I'm. That okay. Why I'm fair enough. Why I'm like anything he says, I'm taking with a grain of salt. You know what I mean? Like, like there's no. Well, let me not say there's no way, but it's just like, bro, like maybe you need to, if if you're going through these life changes, maybe you just need a vibe and kind of build on that. You know what I'm saying? Because like, how long was this process before like he got saved to where like he's, he's, he's dropping out? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
All right. You know what I'm saying? First of all, that dude. <laughs> he's for real. He's for real. No, no, no. He's. He is for real. You could tell. You could tell. I guarantee you he has seen Jesus. Bro. I feel like Jesus came to him like, bro. he was like, yo. He's read Good that. Good looking out, bro. He's read You're that. Reaching a lot of people. <laughs> he's read that Bible a couple times. Oh, back and forth. Mm-hmm. Back and forth. In Spanish, probably. Bro, in a couple languages, bro. <laughs> like, I don't know if you saw the video. He like, translated he, it to Logan and everything. Bro, <laughs> bro, he did something the Bible closed and, like, he opened it and just flipped back to the page where he was at, bro. And it wasn't yeah. even. It was one of them little. It was one of them little the, the the thin page Bibles, bro. Like with the, the little gold, little with cut. the gold edge, word, and that real leather from the back of the bro, cow ass, like bro, real leather, bro. With a, with cow a, ass leather with, Bible, with a, <laughs> with a with a little cuts in there to tell you where the where the books yeah, are, bro. Oh, the little bro, imprints, the little imprints, bro. Oh my god, he didn't even use it, bro. The man just went like this, found where bro, he was. Jesus uh, cool. <laughs> Re- read a verse, went back to pop and lock him, bro. Then he put on and the then, armor yeah. and the helmet and the sword. Bro, and the, went and back the, to the pop. I think that's the other bro, one. Oh my god! Man, pop lock for two minutes, found his place back in the word, and so went bro, right back. Bro, in I right. watched that video oh, and I looked myself in the mirror like, "You're not Christianing right. <laughs> you are Christianing the wrong way. This guy's got it." Right. But uh, that's that, that's how that's the way you get saved when you got bodies, though. <laughs> You know, I don't want to accuse him of everything, but if they cast yeah. him in a movie, he you probably, know what I'm, I'm not. <laughs> oh, <laughs> niggas who got bodies get saved, like you know what I'm saying, like. Bro, bro. <laughs> like, so what brought you to Christ? Hey, <laughs> All right. I lost count. Like, you know, you know, yeah, that's some wild shit. He's unseen some stuff. For bro. real, dog. You can tell. And like you can, like you can tell. Like you know how they say eyes are the window to the soul. Yeah. Look in their eye when they're telling you their testimony to see if they're being true. Oh, bro. Yeah. So dog. whoever's gonna baptize Kanye, look him dead in his eye. I'm just saying we can call him on the show. <laughs> He'll be here next week. Yeah, and we can yeah. bring on, you know, one of the pastors from our church. Yeah, like, yeah. Let's just yeah, grill this yeah, man yeah. right quick. Word. What's Mark 4 left? No, I'm kidding. We'll do that. Not, that's no, silly. Not the other, <laughs> what, what was that pa- other that pastor that, that got, that a video came out? Oh, of him uh, uh, enjoying some seafood? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, I like oh, that. my it, God. Did we talk about it? Uh, I don't know if we There's did. There's a video of... Somebody claiming to be him. I don't really. I don't really know if it's him. Now nah, we should get him and the dude singing. Um, if it ain't about Jesus, I'ma hit you with this K. <laughs> what? <laughs> you haven't seen oh, this yeah. video? Oh, what I did you just say? Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. That doesn't exist. That That's not sense. real. That's the internet. Boy. The man, he was just like, <laughs> it was like, if you ain't a Christian, I'ma shoot you in the face. Like, <laughs> that's how. Are like, you kidding me? How did yeah. this? How did I miss this one? Yeah. We oh. got you during the intermission. We got oh, you. Oh, definitely. Right. Did you? Do you? Go did hard. you see the one with the white guy? He was like, oh, they were doing like you know that stupid you know white hip hop. It was like a, it was like an instruction. It was almost like an instructional video. Uh-huh. He said something, 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 something bigger. That's why Jesus Christ is my nigga. Wow. <laughs> Y'all never seen that one? No. Oh my God, that I'm is just saying, classic. Though. Wow. I have. An it, classic. It's even like, his wife. Word. Yes, yes, yeah, exactly. And he got wife. glasses on a. Yeah. I, I don't just, think he has a mustache, but I remember he has glasses. Jesus Christ is my nigga. Like, wow. That shit was wild. Wow. But, but where do you put his Christianity against wow. uh, against Kanye at, West? At the very least, he acknowledges that Jesus is black. Ah! At the very least. Ah! I <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Almost. What I yeah. felt like yeah. they were trying to do, mm. and what I feel like Kanye is also doing a little bit, is to reach people that don't usually get reached with um with gospel music and Christianity. Mm. Because I, I will tell you right now, the majority of Kanye's fans are not Christians. They're either not Christians or they're Christian, but they're lukewarm Christians, as they put it, mm. which is such a hilarious way to put it. Lukewarm. Right. Anyway. So he feels like, all right. So Glenn and under- Shirley decided to say, Jesus Christ is my nigga. It's my nigga. Right. To they, reach who exactly, just just so I'm Because they, they probably lived in a bad neighborhood. And it was like, you know what? This is how these kids talk. We can relate to them <laughs> if we say the things they say. I'm not justifying it. Because I don't need no white person saying nigga <laughs> to be in any way. Right. Even if you say no, he said no. So in, he said the N-word. In, yeah. As we dive into the mind of the Caucasian. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's also what I feel. And I feel like Kanye's doing that too. Because mm. 
another good thing about Christianity is what? Spread the good news mm -hmm. any way you can. And that's, I feel like that's what Kanye's trying to do. I hey. found the light, and I'm trying to show you this light's all, look at this light. Come. You but then, like, uh, you know, I'm like going to come because you're a but Sandra Bright. But then, Sandra Bullock some people movie. are like, I'm going to come because you're an incredible but producer. See, I want to, I want to, I want to believe that. I want to. But when I hear things like, you sound like Bird Box. He got. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> Just look at it. Just look at it. Bro, that movie is wild. <laughs> bro, but like when I hear things like, like the you got Jesus socks for a hundred dollars a pair, like okay, the like you know what I'm saying. Merchandise. Who did this say that earlier? If if he's still doing that, he has to stop. But if, see, if he did it initially, I'd be like, all right. It's still a little bit of Kanye in there. But if he continues to do it, exploiting Christianity that way, but then... See, oh, that nigga gonna sell merch. That nigga is gonna sell merch. But see... I, I, I don't know. But, I, 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 but, then, but is it exploiting, though? But, but, cause, right, but then, cause, I don't think but it's Jesus. Is, it's, but, it's songs but, revolved around his album. But see, all right. Revolved around He Sunday did have Street. a movie to go along with it, too. So I yeah, guess like it's, stuff. he's, he's yeah. kind of giving us... It's, it's always what he did. Like with uh, My Ooh. Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, he gave us that video of him in the... Like of him in that garden, like that. Every, yeah. Like he, he's always gonna give us more than one thing when he gives us an album. True. And yep. Always, that's he's true. Always giving us more because than he's one an thing. artist. He's not even a musician. In his he's head. An in artist. his head, he's an artist. Exactly. And, I mean, I don't think you can. Depending on your definition of, he's a, he's an artist. No, he is an artist. So, he's definitely uh, an artist. If you want to put a specific it, label, he's a musical mm. artist. Yeah, he's not. He's no longer a rapper. But I even think though he a, raps, he's a mm -hmm. musical artist at this point. Uh, yeah, I, I and think he's been before Jesus is King. I, personally, I already classified as a musical artist. I want to say the fact. As, what was after my twisted? Actually, the moment, the moment you Jesus, the moment you eight always hard eight always yeah. The yeah. moment you produce, that's what I'm thinking of. Uh -huh. That's what you are. The moment you, well, yeah, that 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 that's how he got into the game. That, yeah, that was his niche. He was that, that, yeah, that's, that's yeah. instrumentation in itself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. but yeah, I, I just feel like we should welcome Kanye with open arms. I don't. I'm not saying no, but I'm not saying yeah either. Yeah, I'm, so, saying, yeah, I'm saying wait and see. And yeah. at the same time, I can't blame you <coughs> um, for skepticism because of his past. That, that's a great point. You're right. Like mm. because like, I'm <laughs> I'm looking at Jesus' king. I was like, you just made. I'm such a fucking hoe. I love it. What, love I'm a fun. sick fuck. I like a quick fuck. But at the same time, but I mean, that's what testimony is. Cause see, we cause I, don't I think can't he's lying about anything in that song. Where? Cause <laughs> no, of course not. Cause <laughs> whether it's appropriate or not to to say, that's up to you. But I feel like the honesty in and of itself is exactly. It, it, it's it's a testimony. I saw a, I saw a video of him on Jimmy Kimmel. Mm -hmm. And you know all that shit is scripted. When they come on those talk shows, they have to say certain things at certain times. Mm -hmm. He was just talking like he was talking to his homeboy. Mm -hmm. Even Jimmy Kimmel's face was like, you know, nigga, you're going off script. <laughs> you know, I'm yeah. stop being silly. But um, you know, just jokingly, he said like he was talking to, like he was talking to a um audience member that won the lottery, mm -hmm. and they like interviewed him early or whatever. And he said, you know, invest in land and blah blah, and, like don't fall in facade of all the designer stuff. He was like. He's like, he's like, I got a cheap ass hoodie on, but I'm a billionaire. Everybody started laughing. He said, oh, sorry for um saying ass, you know, my, uh, he said, you can take away my Christian card for the day or something. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So uh, he, he understands, you know, he's still Kanye, but you can see that he's trying to change and you have to appreciate that. Well, no, I mean, I don't, I don't, like I said, like I don't say no, but it's like, it's just, I got to see, because mm -hmm. we can't judge because, I mean, but we we falter we, all the time. No, we cuss up a storm and then we be like, yeah, and follow yeah. Jesus. Yeah, exactly. In <laughs> exactly. The same, exactly. Nah, in the same, right. in the same right. breath, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But I'm we're not gonna say, hey, this is a Christian podcast because we meant, you know, we mentioned that we, you know, we are Christian. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I, I got you. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> we can't. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, you're right. You're right. You're right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? This is the Christian podcast. This one. <laughs> Or, 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 I mean, not, well, or like we're saying, it's a, no, no, I get what or it's saying. a gospel, or it's like a four. You know what I'm and saying? We're we're not, as Christian of a podcast as we are a study group. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's but then, but the thing is, we study. 
and we believe in God. So yeah. it's like, you know what I mean? I mean, I lost my devotion book, but I read devotions but then, daily. But then, you know but what then, but I will come on your curses. Be a damn but then, I'm but sorry. I put then, my hand on the Bible app on my phone. Exactly, <laughs> verse a day every day. You know what I'm saying? But Try then to get some enlightenment in the morning. But then, but then that's like you know we're saying, all right, we're going to turn a, a new leaf, and then mm-hmm. immediately try to be t- teaching people about the Bible like on on a podcast like the next day type like well not What's the next day but or recently the only thing the only problem I see in that is if you don't know and that you can fault Kanye for because I don't think he's too familiar with the Bible it doesn't seem like he is so well, I'll give you that much that's where I think that much I'll give to the album because it's not him Sorry. telling it's more him just it's more him. It's praise. Yeah, it's more him just rejoicing. Yeah, it, 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 it really gives you a happy like the whole album kind of mm-hmm. gives you like a happy feeling. Mm-hmm. Like like I said, there definitely are some gems on there. It's not mm-hmm. like he's saying it's more. It's more. Here's where I am. I wish you know it, I mean? wish we had time. Like I, I literally tried to like, was like let me. Hey, no, nah, we'll play it for you later. Nah, <laughs> yeah, right? like, yeah, yeah. Talk, you, I you heard. I later. heard the song with clips and yes. I heard Chick Fil A. Yes, yes. Uh, wait. He's still Kanye, dog. Yeah. Chick fil A is so Kanye. Yes. You got to listen to the song. Wait, he, he's still clips as in, as in No Malice is on there. Yes. Yeah, he got a song yeah. with No Malice. Yeah. And, and here's one the of the kicker. best lines on the whole album Malice dropped. Like, no uh, and here's the kicker hmm. this nigga got Pusha T, not the curse. Pusha T. Yeah. Yeah. Pusha Ton. That's what they call him. Uh-huh. He mentioned the coke about you know how he can't judge because he's fucked up. That's the only mm. way he mentioned it, mm. yeah. and he didn't curse. I was like, he got That's a, incredible. Yeah, <laughs> it was like he had to have mentioned coke at least once. Yeah, he did on some you know uh, I'm a sinner. How can I judge? Or something like that. Right, it was right. something like that. And it says clips too. It's not no malice in Pusha T. Mm. Uh, There's that's, still the clips. Ah, uh, yes. that's beautiful. Of course yeah. they are. What you that's mean? Exactly. Yeah. Like so, brothers, what you mean, my man? Uh, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. You can't. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Ain't no but you didn't go take tear them apart. Bro. I'm tripping. You right. You that's right. that's beautiful. But you know, you know what I'm gonna do is give. I got one more question before we make a transition. All right, okay. right, right, right. right. So it was reported that Kanye asked members of his staff that were working on the album mm. to not have sex. Yeah, premarital sex. sex while working on the album. If you were a member of Kanye's staff, mm. would you abstain from premarital sex? I would. Because he asked you to. I mean, that's it, kind of, that is weird. Yeah. I mean, it's a weird request. Yeah. Very weird request. But see, therein lies one of the problems the whole. Radicality, yeah. TPSG dictionary, right. the whole right. radicalness of it. Well, that's right. why it says radically saved. Like, all right, mm. put it like this: when you hear Christians, it's like when people see Chris or think about Chris or hear Chris, they think of you know being good, no cursing, no premarital sex, going to church, Bible, being a good person. Those are the typical. Oh. No, no, listen, I'm I'm getting to a point. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. No, I'm getting to a point. That those are the typical things they see. Mm. Because they don't know about the religion. They say, oh, y'all just so-and-so and blah, blah. Mm. So I feel like that's how Kanye's going. Like, yeah, premarital sex is in the Bible not to do. But it's just a weird... Rec- like, you think just mm. because... Yeah. Like, your albums, like they already sinned. They yeah. already have premarital sex, I'm sure. Yeah. So have you. Yeah. You have to understand about repentance and everything. Not yeah. just stop it now just for the album. No, rep- repent from it. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. once again, he's going at it with the wrong way. It's, I'm just happy he's giving it a swing. It, but then it's like... I, I mean, <laughs> that, I that's all it is. I guess and so. If, and, and if y'all real quick... Not, not you. It's if y'all radical. real Christians out there, go correct him. Uh, correct your newly found, radically saved brother. <laughs> if you would, really love him. I would agree with it. It's radical. Oh, yeah, man. it's mad radical. But... Dude... <laughs> But then, <laughs> I think that's gotta, all I got to say about. It. I'm not sure if I but, would. But there's right. brands of Christians, though. There's yeah. like, oh, yeah. mm-hmm. there's there's Christians, then there's Trump supporter Christians, then there's <laughs> yeah, there's the Puritan. He like, was sent by Jesus. Yeah, yeah. you need to vibe. <laughs> but I'm gonna give I'm gonna give um y'all the opportunity. Few black men get the opportunity too. I'm gonna ask y'all how y'all feel. Oh oh. So you want that might be the quote of the podcast. Word. Few black men get to have this. Word. Question. I'm asking how do you feel. How do you feel about? Okay. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just throw here, it out here there. Here comes a marquee. How do you feel about? Word. <laughs> how do you feel about 
V necks. First of all, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I'm wearing. <laughs> Second of all, I feel like you have to have one of the two to rock a V neck. Mm. Pecs, like muscles, like you work out, mm -hmm. or chest hair. <laughs> you can't be flat chested. Like you can't have a bird chest and then it's bare. Like you yeah, gotta have damn chest. though. You like, gotta, like looking at a blank canvas. Like, you gotta <laughs> you gotta have some wild wild you gotta have the shoulders, the carrots. You gotta have something, you know uh, what I'm saying? Cause it has to sit. Yeah. So that's <laughs> what the V-neck needs to do. And then Where? women, who doesn't need a little cleavage? Because we're perverts. The cleavage will be fine. I don't care about anything else. Where? <laughs> and when the V necks, when the V start to hang. Oh yeah, when it start looking like a U neck, mm. when it start going right back to a crew. Neck. Yeah. <laughs> that's a wide crew. Uh -huh. <laughs> Why are your nipples showing? <laughs> <laughs> Why <are> you? <laughs> I can't stand them deep V neck niggas though. Like no. nah, 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 no, nah, nah, nah. I'm a respectable V. Yeah, like, like it should we don't not. Down to your navel. Where? It should not go past your sternum. Bro, when the V get That's egregious, dog. When <laughs> yeah. I start seeing the... That's the, too far. Yeah. Yeah, like... I like it shouldn't go past, like, right here. Your jugular notch, bro. Like, right, right fucking there. Like, you're <laughs> one tree branch from snagging your shirt and you showing your nipples. Like, that's the next step. Word. You look like... Like a door handle? Or yeah, like something goes snag you like, oh, exposed. You look like you can maneuver out your clothes. You, like, if you, just, <laughs> if, you, if you just put your hands together real quick, your shirt will just fall to the floor, nigga. Someone was chasing you and grabbed your shirt. All you got to do is spin For around. For real. You'll fall right on that thing. Word. <laughs> This nigga go home and change like this. Ah! <laughs> uh, oh, I haven't left this hard in uh, podcast in so long. Wait. Oh shit! All right, next shit, nigga. I got heartburn. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I pretty much feel the same way. Keep the V respectable. Yeah, wait, that's wait. Right, right, right here. Right wait, here. Yeah. that has something to show. Exactly. Yeah. Have have something to rest the V upon. Yes. Thank you. you know what I'm saying V needs a canvas. V yes, exactly. needs a canvas. How do you feel about NFL analytics? Oh boy, <laughs> I hate Chris Collinsworth, and that's all I'll say about that. Wait, what? I can't stand Chris Collinsworth. <laughs> all right, I, I just really can't. I all felt right. like that about him, but recently, um, I noticed. Um, uh, uh, because of Twitter, he does something <laughs> every episode. Yeah. Um. Uh, Al Michaels, uh -huh. who's one of the greatest voices in like sports history. I like him. He will be explaining. Oh, so we have the Bengals versus the Dolphins today. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> and then he'll introduce Chris Collinsworth. Then he'll slide into the picture on his chair, and he does it every episode. <laughs> it's called the Collinsworth slide. <laughs> Like, I, like I, I remember I was watching an episode, and he looked like he was gone off a of bean. His tie was crooked. His eye was like, and he was doing a goofy smile. I'm like, nah, this nigga's high. But he did the Collinsworth slide, and I was, I'm starting to search Twitter. I'm like, oh, shit, this is a thing. <laughs> it's so incredible. It's like one of those, it's just one of those little things you have, you know what I'm saying? Little <laughs> things, you know, you don't celebrate much when it happens. It's like, ah, there it is. Word, word. Fucking college <laughs> worth <laughs> Every episode. Every fucking episode. Okay, so even a broken <coughs> clock is right twice a day. <laughs> Good fucking point. <laughs> Good fucking point. <laughs> but I don't know, like this, like he just, I don't know, he either keens on the player and hates him or keens on the player and loves him to death. Over exaggeration, like yeah, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. one or the other, and then uh, I don't know. He just his commentary is pretty out, it's pretty forthright. Like it's like a two year old could have told you the same. Yeah, thing. like so, it's ooh. Tuesday. <laughs> no way. A lot of people know this. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, no. Be like, so today on Monday on Monday Night Football, like you didn't have to. What? We think Monday Night Football is on Saturdays. <laughs> That's what you're telling me. Do we think that? And like the like there there are some former players that are great analysts. They mm. speak well. Mm. Obviously, they know the game, mm. and they know how to be funny at the same time too. Nate Burleson is one. Mm. Yes, he's really good. I, I like him. Nate Burleson. Um, they need the, the, a couple a couple coaches and shit. Prime time. Mm. They should have gave him TV a long time ago. Oh no, no, yeah, he he needs a TV from childhood. I but see. a lot of them, God forgive me, they're stupid, dog. Yes. One of my so, favorite comedians said it, Thompson's girl, he said there's people that look stupid, uh -huh. do stupid things, <laughs> and speak stupidly. These niggas speak stupidly. And they try to they try to mask it up and dress it up as mm -hmm. as an analyst. Like 
They, they, they'll make. <coughs> oh, they just scored a touchdown into a long <coughs> paragraph, but that's all he said. <coughs> <laughs> they scored a touchdown. Pretty much. Yeah, ran up. Yo. <laughs> the one thing I would say, Charles Barkley should do more uh, color commentary and less analyzing. Yeah. Color, he's hilarious. I mean, he's hilarious. He's Period. hilarious <laughs> analyzing. But in the middle of a game, all he does is roast play. No, right? I'm it, telling it, you, it, this is, shit it is, is the funniest that thing That shit is hilarious. Ever. That so, shit is hilarious. Uh, and man. he'll say something like, I wouldn't have done that. Like, he, <laughs> he always compare, like, when, in the 90s, I would have had 13 rebounds in the first quarter. Like, Oh, that was a terrible Charles Barkley person. <laughs> but you got what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. The, just don't be stupid. That's, that's yeah. the conclusion yeah, of that. Pretty word. much. Word. Some are good, the some youth, are bad. I hate yeah. those college words. The, and the use of... And Booger McFarlane. <laughs> oh, that's his God. Name. The one that looks like a booger. <laughs> <laughs> Does look boogerish. For real. He looks like one of the Goombas from the Mario Brothers. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope you don't watch this. Oh. Anyway, next one, next one. How do you feel about ENJ? I'll drink it. ENJ is Hennessy on welfare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if there's nothing else, I'll drink it. But <laughs> That's hopefully, it. I'm not there. <laughs> and the yeah. worst part, first of all, I don't like. <clears throat> there's like, there's like a. a, a, a a premium ENJ. That's what I'm getting at. <laughs> I don't like flavored dark alcohol. It's stupid to me. Mm -hmm. Certain ones, you know, there's exception to every rule. But ENJ has the nerve <laughs> to flavor their... What? What did you just... <laughs> Somebody mentioned ENJ apple. I was like, oh, what? obviously you mix it with apple juice. And he showed me a green ENJ bottle. I'm like, get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> Are you shitting me? <laughs> EJ has the nerve <laughs> to flavor this shitty ass liquor. <laughs> now it just tastes like spoiled shitty ass whatever the flavor is. I mean, they're pinnacle. <laughs> oh oh my god, pinnacle is oh. piss. <laughs> pinnacle is piss. Hey, I don't they can do it. Soaking wheat. Oh. Whipped cream. Nah, I'm good. Get your check, E and J. Just though I ain't buying you. I ain't buying you, but oh somebody my god. will. E and J oh. is like great value. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Black people own the E and J? Own it? Oh, right, wait, is it? Is it? Is oh, it even if they I did, they need, they, they need a better product, bro. Uh, oh. Yeah, whoever it is. <laughs> yeah, but uh, black people are represented by it. I was going to say, is a, is a black people buy it? I feel you. I ain't suffering that bad, bro. <laughs> nah, man. E and J is I'll like, buy some Douce or something before, that, you know what I mean? Like, before the Irk and Jerk? Yeah, the Easy Jeezy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> the, I think the last couple times I've had E and J, it's because the person's house I was over didn't have energy. They actually, I, I don't think I've ever purchased E and J, and if I have, forgive me. <laughs> I don't think I have. Somebody said Irk and Jerk. No, Irk er, er, and Jerk is my favorite one. <laughs> Cause you drink that shit like. Ugh, ugh. Start jerking. Uh, like, what is in this shit? <laughs> oh, all my Norland niggas gonna be mad at me. They love me uh, and Jay over there, boy. Or some, uh, or some Earl J. Earl J. <laughs> <laughs> the plastic bottle. Hey. Oh. Hey. Hey. Or Evan Williams. Oh, e oh my God. Evan Williams. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> hey, we don't get me started, Evan Williams. <laughs> don't even get me started, Evan Williams, dog. All right. <laughs> All right. Go, Next go. topic. To, go ahead, go. Have, go ahead. I will spend an hour on Evan Williams. <laughs> How do you feel about rompers? <laughs> oh, Ma male or female? <laughs> Next. First, <laughs> first of all, I only, I only, I only meant on women. You oh, know I love him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually mad you asked me that. Oh, no, no. I, did, I, I just needed to make sure that we were going down. I know there's <laughs> sin, but I haven't seen it in real life yet. I haven't Thank seen goodness. a man in a romper. Uh, First of all, that's not what we're talking about. No, 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 I'm just saying. Mm. Rompers? How do you go to the bathroom, bro? Like, <laughs> oh, God. Like I said, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Same <laughs> way. You got a zip for that? <laughs> So you gotta shed your skin. <laughs> so w when it comes to the female gluteus maximus, all, as what? they put it, mm. certain type of clothes hold up their asses certain ways. Mm. Spandex, mm. 
Summer, summer dress. dress. Mm-hmm. Leot- leotards and spandex are different. I'm about to say mm-hmm. yoga pants. Yoga pants. Yoga stockings. Pants. Them them um them um, love them 1970s pants. The uh, high rise jeans. Yeah. Yo, high rise jeans just be handing out booty to women. <laughs> <laughs> but but nothing. <laughs> <laughs> real. You get so oh, you want to add high rise, high rise. <laughs> word. It, no, it really gives every those woman those t- a booty. I, word, and those little tights with the, the little fray. Every woman ass look good in that. Oh, the the the, the spandex bell bottoms. Word, yeah. Yeah. yeah, those are sent from heaven. Have word. mercy. I'm sorry, baby. She gonna listen to this. No, they they like they will. It's crazy. That's all I can say. Word. But nothing can hold an ass like a romper for some reason. Mm. Like it's, it's cups. It's like right suspended. You know what it is? Yeah. Remember how short it is? So it's like yeah. their titties are pulling up their ass and their ass is pulling down their titties. It's like balance, dog. It's, <laughs> you can't explain it. It's balance. Yeah. Exactly. It's science. Science it, and balance. There you go. Rompers are science. It's gravity. Science, dog. <laughs> the seesaw effect. Uh, yeah. Once again. Five. <laughs> Look yeah. at the elbow. <laughs> Look at the elbow. <laughs> Damn. Yes. How do you guys feel about watermelon flavored? juice um i haven't i probably had one good one and i was in arizona <laughs> yeah I was about to say it's Arizona's hard to translate i would much rather just bite into a watermelon mm. like it's along with peach it's hard to translate now juice. if it's green if you could somehow get the water flavored watermelon flavored drink green I might buy it, but <laughs> just because it's green. Any, Other than that, yeah. any juice that is green or mm. blue <laughs> or purple. Oh, yes. Don't forget purple. Or pink. Oh, yes, definitely. Is delicious. It doesn't matter. Off rip. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Even if it turns like if it turns green, if it doesn't come green, once it turns green, it tastes better for some reason. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I don't know if I co that with Alex. <laughs> no, no, no. You know when um they mix the liquors in the Plastic ah, tubs, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, like, okay, we did, okay. shit. Yeah, the ah. yoga buns. Ah, yeah, shout man. out to uh, CSA. Word, word, word. But I, yeah. Yeah. How do you feel about long pauses? <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes. Well, sometimes. You know what? They, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but gen- are necessary. Word. <laughs> but gentlemen, that like seems them. like a like an episode. I'm you think so? Up. How do you feel about ending this episode? <laughs> Word. I feel rather good. <laughs> yeah, I could, I could mess with that. But once Word. again, wait, what ever happened to Shabby? What happened to I seem like? Oh, um, he's in Narnia. We're just going to leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> Found the closet, walked through a door. Word. We'll holler at him next week. For exactly. real. I hope they got off cell phone reception. That nigga man. stumbled into a wardrobe. <laughs> a ch- Word. A chest of drawer. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that nigga gonna be gone for weeks. For He'll come back with one of those uh, caveman beers. Word. <laughs> it's been 20 years. Bro, that's been a week. But <laughs> well, before we go, remember, follow us, TPSG Podcast, on all social media. Like Hashtag TPSG. Hit T... Uh, tpsgpodcast.com, right? Right. That's a damn show. I should know that. tpsgpodcast.com or thephysicstudygroup.com. You know what I'm saying? And get yourself some gear. We got hats, pins, shirts, all that stuff. Word, word. Everything. 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 And if you put... If you put if you put code what the fuck you might get a discount. You won't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. That's just what the fuck. If you don't get it, what the fuck? No, just just to be clear, <laughs> you won't get a discount. Yeah. But the stuff is reasonably big price. Go support your niggas. All right. For real. This has been your boy Jormatic, aka Black Galifianakis, aka Wave Chappelle, aka Wavy McGrady, aka um. Oh, sorry, BKA, Skip Beardless. Oh. That's one of my favorite ones. That's when I had shaved. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, boy, that was great. Word, word, word. <laughs> Don't bet on the Cowboys again. Oh, <laughs> word. No, no, no. I was freezing. <laughs> <laughs> word, and this is Baraka Flocka, a.k.a. Ah. Baraka Flocka, a.k.a. Flocka Zulu, a.k.a. Sorry, Black Sound III, a.k.a. Pablo Escovich, a.k.a. No more AKA Stop the Violence. And it's your boy David Bowmeyer, AKA Chico Fantastico, the Fantastic Chico, AKA. Mm-hmm. Let's go with uh, Sirac Obama, of course. AKA Don Juan, Don Juan Draper, AKA. Remember that nigga over there? Nigga over there. That, nigga over that there. was yours, right? That nigga over there, or was that yours? Might have been one. 
Might have been one of mine, actually, yeah. Yeah, I think that was yeah, mine, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, it was, yes. That was one of the, uh, so, like, auxiliary, a.k.a. Auxiliary? <laughs> so many damn the AKAs. BKAs. What are the BKAs? Right. What are the AKAs? <laughs> but good night, people. Word. From Slim James in the game. Uh. <laughs> <laughs>